Hi everyone. In this example, this lesson is going to be slightly more complicated than the last. We're going to take a look at this part of question 9. So we note straight away that our base function is a sine function. So I'll write this as y equals a sine bx plus c plus d. Now, the equation I've been given, or I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go with the equation. We've been given y equals 4 sine. Now, they've done something funny here, haven't they? They've factored 2, and then they have x minus pi over 3. And then they've added 2. So what we've got here to deal with is slightly different to what was there. So let's rewrite the equation we've been given. Let's expand, or let's distribute this 2 times here and 2 times here. So 2 times x is 2x minus 2 pi over 3 plus 2. Now we can see a correspondence between a, a is 4, b, b is 2, c is 2 pi over 3, and d is 2. Now we can get to work. Our amplitude, a, is 4. It'll go up and down by 4 compared to the equilibrium position. Actually, it's probably easier to start from d. Our equilibrium position is at positive 2. So positive 2 on the y-axis here, my equilibrium position will be there. Uh, my graph's not going to be tall enough because the amplitude is 4, so it's going to go off the scale at the top. My picture's not going to be very good. But anyway, we'll get the idea. Uh, amplitude of 4, yes, will be all the way down here to negative 2, and we'll be way off the scale here up to positive 6. Now, as far as b, b equals 2 pi over t. And our value for b was 2, that's the one in green there. Quickly rearranging, I'd have 2 pi over 2, or pi. The period of this is pi. I will have a full cycle, a crest and a trough by the time I go that far. I'll have a second full cycle by the time I go that far. Now this is the really important bit here. The horizontal shift, remember, is c divided by b. We have 2 pi over 3 divided by our value of b was 2, so that's back to pi over 3. That's a horizontal shift, a third of a pi. I'm going to sketch in my base function now. My base function would have to have a crest way up there, back to 0 at that point, a trough way down there, back to 0 at that point. That would be the base function without a horizontal shift. But I do have a horizontal shift. Because it's subtract, it's shifting to the right, and it's shifting to the right by pi over 3. So a third of a pi is about there somewhere. My original point will shift to there. My peak will shift to about there. This zero point will shift by a third of a pi. This trough will shift by a third of a pi, and this will shift by a third of a pi. My graph will actually be here. That's a full cycle. That's what the question wanted, show a full cycle of each graph. Of course, the graph would continue in both directions. Let's take a look on the graphing calculator to see how we did. Our base function was sine. Now, I might build this up bit by bit. Uh, we began with the horizontal, the big part, the vertical shift of plus 2. So let's do that. I'm going to have to change my view window scale here, aren't I? I need, I, w I think ultimately I will need to get all the way down to about negative 2. I might say negative 3 to give myself some breathing room. 
and ultimately up to about plus 6, so I might go up to 7. Whoops, that's the wrong one to be pressing, I meant that one to be 7. And I'll go in steps of 1. Let's redraw that. So that... Oh, I forgot that I had a cosine written in there, didn't I? It helps if I have the right function. Let's put sine of x plus 2. This should give us a vertical shift of 2. Lovely, vertical shift is 2. The equilibrium has moved up by 2. Next, I think I'll put the 4 here at the front. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What have I done? Somehow tried to be typing in the wrong place. Let's put a 4 here. This should increase the amplitude. Certainly has. So we still have our equilibrium here at plus 2, and we've gone upwards by 4, and we've gone downwards by 4, as we first thought. So that's the amplitude. Next, let's go and pop that 2. Oh, I did it again. Got to move up a bit, then go left. Let's go and pop that 2 in front of the x. This should give me a period of pi. It should scrunch the waves together. It has. So the period for a full cycle now is happening between 0 and pi. Lovely. Finally, we will go back and add in that... You think I would learn, don't you? Here we go. We'll add in that phase shift. I'll put an extra pair of brackets here, just to be on the safe side, just so it looks like this, and I'll write minus pi over 3. And I'll close that square bracket. Now this is the one that I think is going to look like our... Oh, it didn't like something. What didn't it like? Maybe it didn't like my square brackets. I'll just use regular brackets then. See if that keeps it happy. Oh, I think... Fingers crossed. Oh, it worked. Now, has this given us what we think? Well, it's a bit hard to see, but yes, it has. Does it look like our zero point has been moved across? Yes, it certainly does. Does it look like the peak of this one is somewhat to the right of the peak of that one? Yes, it does. So there we go. That is our base, our, our function, with all the transformations applied. Thanks for watching.